rotation's a little, a little bit sharp. Seems he's still kind of rotating in it, and when he hits the ground, so we don't we don't want that. So we're gonna hit U to show all the keyframes. We're gonna turn off the position, turn on the rotation, and see how it's kind of sharp. It just goes up, down, and you can see, you know, you can see it's almost straight. It, it's fine if it's not. We're gonna select um, the highest points uh, when he's in the, the air. We're gonna select all those. Um, and we'll select those keyframes. We're gonna right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease or F9, which I like to, to do. So. So that's a little bit better. It's looking pretty good. I like that. So let's let's select this guy. We're gonna uh, Control Shift C, and we'll just call this man falling. Okay. But um, if we look, he still all has all his keyframes in here, and we can't really move him without it creating more keyframes. So. Um, we don't want that, so we're gonna app, we're gonna Control Z, we're gonna undo that, um, and then we're gonna go um, pre-compose again. Man, falling. This time we're gonna move all the attributes into the new composition. Click OK. That way now we can move them all around. And there we go. So that's fun. But so we know that there's there's eight men, right? So, call this man one, and um, let's go ahead and save it before I lose everything. Population. Um, so we can create eight men, um, and then we can move them to wherever they're going to be. But it's kind of hard because they have this huge. Um, this huge dimension layer here. So that can be tough to grab the other layers. So um, what we can do is go inside this man 8. I'm going to zoom in. Wait till it stops bouncing. Let's say two, two, two seconds. We're going to go to the uh, crop tool here. Crop uh, region or um, what is it called? Region of interest. Um, we're going to just crop them a bit. So it's just the man. So they're just easier to, to work with and to use and, you know, things like that. So, but you can see he's cropped up here. And, and we'll get to that in a second. So we're going to go to uh, composition, crop comp to region of interest. So now it'll only make the composition as big as that man. But he's still cropped, um, so as you'll see here, that's not good. But uh, as per my OCD, I have to make these um, be right. Um, they have to be even. Don't judge me. I, I do as I will. Um, so we're gonna have, and I want them to be centered too, just 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 so it's pixel perfect. Um, so we'll go ahead and select both of those layers. I want to align center, align center, and it'll just center that in inside this composition. And if you have both keyframes selected while you do that, it'll automatically affect um, it, the, this keyframe as well. So we'll get in U, we'll go ahead and uh, control W. So, all right, we got, we got this guy fallen. Let's solo our man one. We don't want that. We don't want that. We want to see all of him falling in, right? So if we click on the continuous rasterization, it's going to read this layer as um, as this layer. So it comes in the frame. So that's pretty cool. Now, now we can uh, move our men around uh, as we as we please. Um, now this can get kind of tedious moving these guys around, you know. But so let's just streamline it a little bit. Um, so I'm going to create. 16 of these these bad boys right here um, we're gonna fit to the composition so from man one let's go ahead and line him to the left from man 16 
we're going to align him to the um, to the right. And then we select all of them, and then we're going to distribute all of the men evenly. So, and you can you can add, you can have 18, you can have 20, and it'll still uh, distribute them evenly across your um, composition here. So this looks pretty good. I might want them closer. If we look at the original, they're a little bit closer. Um, so we can undo that, and we can do um, we can do two more or four more or whatever. Let's do four more. See how that looks. Um, so, but it's important to do the the top one and the bottom one because it's it's how the align uh, distribute layers works is um, so you have to have them kind of whatever you're going to have distributed be in between these two. Um, so line left, align right, and then select them all, distribute. So I like that. They're pretty close. Um, so we can get rid of these four guys. Boop. Get rid of those, these uh, four guys. Um, but we have 12 layers here. And I want, I want, let's say 10, because the original is 8, but I like, I like 10. So that looks pretty good. So they all fall in, and we want to turn on continuous rasterization on all of the layers. But they all fall in at the same time. And that's that's kind of boring. You know, it kind of defeats motion graphics. Motion graphics is about motion and timing and obviously cool graphics. But so we want to offset these, I don't know, five frames maybe. So we could select the second layer, page down five times until we're on frame five, and then um, open bracket, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then open bracket. That can get kind of kind of boring, kind of tedious. So let's go ahead and do something cool. Um, if we have all our layers uh, selected, we're going to go to frame four, and we're going to alt and bracket, and we're going to trim our layers. Now it goes up to frame five, because this is important if we were to, when we staircase these, that there, there's no overlap. Um, so th each of these is going to be five frames. So if you trim at four, it's going to give you five. Now this is important to to know in which order to select your layers. So we're going to do top to bottom, if you, and it's going to staircase them like this. You know, but if you were to do this, it would staircase them like that. But seeing as though this is the first one, second one, we want them to fall in that order. So we're going to select the top one, go to the bottom one, and we're going to go to animation, keyframe assistant, sequence layers, and we're going to hit OK. You can overlap if you want. I usually don't do that, but you know, find your own way of doing things. And it'll staircase. Look at that. It's pretty cool. I use this all the time, uh, and I love it. So all these guys are falling. Let's go ahead and extend that to three seconds. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I'm happy with that. And it's perfectly even, so if we were to bring up the uh, title safe and the ruler, you can... Um, my ruler's not showing right now. But that's okay, but you can see um, they're right in the middle. So let's go ahead and uh, turn off, save it. So here we go. So it's brain and men. Bring these up above the ladies. So there we go. Let's go ahead and solo that. So we can, it's just easier to work with. We won't want to add a reflection because when we look at the original AI file, um, you can see that there's a slight reflection on them, and they're just masked with the with the gradient. Um, we don't we don't want to do that. Now we could add a mirror effect, um, which is cool and everything. It doesn't give you a lot of control in terms of um, kind of what you can do with it. But so we can do that. Um, but then we have to find a way to, to add a gradient and all this, and then it's just it can turn into a mess. So we're not going to worry. We're going to do that. So we're just going to duplicate our raining men. The uh, layer underneath, uh, we're going to uh, rename it Raining Men Shadow, or not Shadow, um, sorry, Reflection. Um, so now we have two layers in the same spot. But we're going to hit S, 
scale, uh, uncheck the uh, chain, and we're just going to minus that, minus 100. Um, and then we can bring the reflection down until their feet meet for three seconds. So I like that. Let's do that. Um, so we can add a um, feathering to it so it you know, kind of drops off on their feet. So if we have the layer selected and we go to the uh, rectangle tool, double click, it'll give us this uh, mask on our layer. Um, and we can bring this right up to where they're, right about there. Um, and if we have our layer selected, we push F and we go to the uh, mask feather, unlink that, and we can just add, I like 60. It all just depends on what you want and what you like and, most importantly, what the client likes. Um, I know reflections isn't a big deal, but, it, you know, everything adds to it. Um, so it looks pretty good. And let's go ahead and take the opacity down a bit. So T, bring that down to, oh, I don't know, 25. Let's do 25. I like that. And you can see there's a reflection. So there we go. And we could even we can even pre-comp these if we want just to reduce our layer. I'm all about pre-comping, but you don't have to. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So um, we'll call it men falling final. There we go. But now we have to do it to the ladies. Um, but before that, let's go ahead and color these some of these dudes. Um, we know that. 50%, uh, so so let's do these. We'll just go ahead and do that blue, so I know, so just so we know which ones have the fill uh, at a glance. Um, and we're going to type in fill in the effects presets window and fail. So I like to have my solids open because it's my, my color palette, and I've seen people um, make a color palette of their own and then stick it on the side, and then they have... There, this color palette um, that's always on the window. I don't like doing that. I like having real estate as much as possible. Um, but like I said, whatever works for you, you guys do it. Um, but this is what I do. So here we go. Um, we're going to color pick the blue. I'm just going to copy paste that effect uh, on all of these guys. So 50%, boom, already, blue, ready to go. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and fix that. Um, I like to stay organized, so, um, and then keep, make their own folder. We'll go ahead and, uh, control W, control W, control W, clear all those out. We want to do the same thing to the ladies, right? So let's go ahead and turn these off. I got a, I got a trick. Don't, don't turn off your lady. It's, it's a bad joke, but I'm okay with that. So let's go ahead and duplicate, uh, men falling. And we're going to go ahead and call that ladies falling. Cause I prefer ladies over women. Just sounds nicer. And since these are all duplicated, um, we're, we can just rename these as well. Um, Let's go ahead and make those red, make these blue. Let's go ahead and open all these up. We have men falling. We don't want men falling. We want ladies falling. Um, so all we really have to do is just replace this layer with a lady. Um, and we have all those layers in our Illustrator uh, file population. So here it is, lady one. Boom, there it is. And you can also find it um, in here if you have your lady on, turned on. <laughs> you can right click, um, reveal layer source in project, and boom, it'll take you right to it. Um, I already had it selected, so let's go and do a different one. Boom, 88. So, 
Uh, ladies falling.